Hi, thanks for joining me today for another Bell Performance video blog. I am Eric Bjornstad with Bell Performance, and uh, we're doing the second part of the video uh, where we're talking about what happens if you accidentally get the wrong kind of fuel in your gasoline or your diesel uh, fuel tank. Uh, we already did a video on what happens if you get gasoline in your diesel, and so today we're doing the converse. You have a regular gasoline-powered car, you accidentally However you do it, you accidentally get or think you got some diesel fuel in your gasoline. Now, basically, as we said in our other video, the, the problems that you're going to have are really stem from the fact that diesel fuel and gasoline have significantly different physical properties. Diesel fuel is heavier than gasoline. It, it mixes with air differently. It has a different viscosity. It, 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 uh, when you inject it into the combustion chamber, it has different volatility. Um, and it burns at different temperatures. And so all of those things and the fact that your gasoline engine is engineered to run on gasoline and its physical properties, not diesel fuel and its physical properties, the fact that you know, all those things together mean that you can run into possibility of some pretty serious problems if you happen to make that unfortunate mistake. So let's talk about them. Um, when you're talking about um, um, putting diesel fuel, accidentally putting diesel fuel in gasoline, you've got two or three main problems that you need to worry about. First one is how it's going to affect the octane rating of the gasoline in your tank. Um, you know, octane is a measure of how well gasoline burns relative to where the piston is in the power stroke. And uh, engine, gasoline engines are engineered to run on fuel that has gasoline that has a minimum octane value. If you happen to get diesel fuel in there, diesel fuel has a significantly lower octane rating than gasoline does. Most gasoline engines today need a minimum of about 87 octane in order to run properly. Diesel fuel has an octane rating in and of itself of between 25 and 40. And so that means that if you get uh, as little as 2% diesel fuel in your gasoline, you'll lower the octane rating of your fuel by one point. If you happen to get, let's say, 10%, uh, uh, diesel fuel in your gasoline, you'll lower it by five points. And five points is more than enough to cause problems in most gasoline engines. So, as we said, it doesn't take very much diesel fuel for you to notice a difference there. And if, you're, if you try to run the engine on gasoline whose octane rating has been lowered significantly enough, then soon it's 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 going to run into not just a you know a smoke problem or a a a knocking problem you could run the very real risk of damaging the engine cracking the the bending the rods doing something serious like serious like that that you really don't want didn't intend to happen so uh, that's the first one second one is that you're going to get dirty combustion um, and also possibly damage your fuel pump. Um, dirty combustion because the diesel fuel is not going to burn in the same way that the gasoline is going to burn so therefore it's going to burn incompletely if at all and incomplete combustion means black smoke uh, and you've also got the fact that diesel fuel is a it's a thicker it's a heavier more viscous uh, fuel than gasoline uh, is and remember that fuel pumps and gasoline injectors, they are designed, they aren't designed to inject diesel fuel. They're designed to inject the lighter, uh, you know, more volatile gasoline fuel. So if you start running a part, uh, a fraction of diesel fuel through those, you can run the very, you know, the very real risk of having a catastrophic damaging event to your fuel pump, which is going to vast, you know, multiply the cost of your problem, you know, significantly. So as far as what to do, uh, when we were doing the diesel video, we basically said if you're in this unfortunate situation where you you think that you've contaminated it, then do not take any chances. Have it towed to a mechanic, have them flush out the lines, strain the tank, refill it with, with you know the right kind of fuel. That's really the only way that you have to give you the best chance of avoiding some seriously expensive problems. And even though we say that putting diesel fuel in gasoline may not cause as many 
problems as the other, it's still a serious problem. So what we would recommend, if you're in the position where you have a gas powered car and you think that you've accidentally put diesel in there, don't take any chances. Have it towed to a mechanic. Don't drive it there. Have it towed to a mechanic. Tell them what happened. They will drain your fuel system, drain your tanks, put the right kind of fuel in there. Because again, like we said with, with the, the diesel people, you do not want a $500 problem turning into a $5,000 problem. And the way that today's cars and trucks are with the, the high performance engines that they have, then if you don't take the proper precautions here, then you run the very you know real risk of this happening. So anyway, hope that was useful for you. Uh, so thanks for joining me. I'm Eric Bjornstedt with Bell Performance. Um, and uh, check us out next time.